Hi, this is Igor Rijinovich from HDHead.com and in this tutorial I'll talk to you about something that's not really Avid DS related but it's nevertheless very important and that is color bars and head formatting of uh, videotape masters. To create color bars in Avid DS we can select an area of the timeline, click on generate and select test pattern. Uh, under test pattern we have several different options of bars we can choose and I've actually made a little sequence here of different bars starting with uh, SMPTE bars. Standard SMPTE bars are primarily meant to be used for analog videotape masters although uh, just about any digital beta cam will have SMPTE bars on them. There are better options however for some reason uh, SMPTE bars at least in the United States have been used on standard F masters whether they're analog or digital so if you you know whenever whenever you're creating a standard F master if you if you use these particular bars you won't make a mistake you can use these bars in high def masters too although it doesn't make a whole lot of sense S some of the elements in these bars don't really make any sense for high def namely the i and q vectors and the uh, pluge area here that you can't really see it's too dark uh, next we have 75% uh, bars with a DS logo and without a DS logo. Fairly similar, different timing of, of the bars. There's a white element left and right here and over here we just go from white to black. 75% bars refer to 75% chroma. Video images are contained of uh, luma and chroma information and uh, typically when you speak about the percentage in context of bars, 99% of the time it's really uh, that percentage is really addressing the chroma, not the lo not the luma part. So uh, these are 75% chroma bars, not terribly useful because both of these are already contained within the uh, within the regular SMPTE bars in addition to these other elements. So um, I can't really think of a good occasion where you would want to use these bars. The next one we have. 100% chroma bars. These bars make more sense for digital masters whether they're standard def or high def and as I said SMPT bars are more typically used for standard def masters of any kind so it's rare that you'll see 100% chroma bars on a standard def master but these bars do make sense for high def use uh, you can use them in, in, in high def masters and finally in uh, Avid version 10 there's an addition of SMPT standard 219 bars which are high def bars really good for high def and standard def and I'll tell you why. The aspect ratio we're looking at right here is 16 by 9 and within the 16 by 9 there's a 4 by 3 area right here in the middle that looks very similar to a regular SMPT bars. So what happens is when you use these bars on a high def master and you do a down conversion to standard def that uh, chops off the sides so there will be a, a center crop down conversion you will lose this column here and here which contain 100% chroma elements so what you end up with is something that's actually very similar to SMPT bars but if you use these bars in a in a high def environment you still have these 100% uh, elements and uh, so these bars are actually very convenient for high def now as far as um, head format goes um, unless you have a spec sheet from the from the network that specifies exactly how they want the um, tape master this head format is fairly standard you would start black encoding the tape at 58000 and have 30 seconds of roll up on tape or more you know if uh, if you have enough tape uh, from 5830 to 5930 you would place bars and tone from 5930 to 5940 you would place a 10 second slate and then uh, you could use an optional 2-pop if your program requires it from 59500 to 595801 so it's just a one single frame 2-pop which will be synchronized with the audio as well and then your program would start exactly at hour 1 and I will show you how to format the head in Avid DS so I'm just going to delete all these clips here I will type in 058300 and a duration of exactly one minute uh, that's our endpoint. I'm going to select a little area here, select marked region. There you go. It filled in between in and out. Then we'll go to generate, test pattern, and I'll choose SMPTE 219 HD bars. And then I will also place here in the audio track tone generator. 
at minus 20, not minus 18, that's default, but minus 20 reference level. Make sure that the um, the tones start and end exactly where they need to. They do. So we have bars, we have the tone, you probably can't hear the tone. Then at uh, 59.30 for 10 seconds, do the same thing, select, select the marked region, generate black, take this black into the paint where we can make our slate whatever that slate may contain if you need to output different types of masters you can always uh, change these bars by selecting the clip right mouse clicking choosing test pattern properties and uh, here you can choose any other bar format that you need